Hello, hello, hello to all my uniques out there. This is your favorite girl, Akudo. Welcome to today's video. To all my returning subscribers, peace, I see you. Lucy, I see you. Lillian Happiness, I see you. To all my returning subscribers, hello. Welcome back. And those of you that are not part of my family, what are you still waiting for? You watch all the videos. You might as well come join us. You see the button that says, sus uh, that says subscribe? Click on that button. Wait for the notification bell. Click on that one too. So you will be the first to see my videos once they drop. Now let's jump right into it. <laughs> Live from Atlanta, from Atlanta Georgia. Georgia. Beautiful, Beautiful. wonderfully Wonderful. made by God. Welcome to the big show. Is that my sweetheart? Is that Akindeji, my darling? Is that you, Mama? Stephanie, mwah, mwah, mwah. sweetheart, how are you guys doing? Stephanie, I see you, baby. Akindeji, I see you. Lilian, happiness. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Peace. <laughs> Peace, my home girl. I see you. How are you all doing? Hope you went to church. I went to church with a big girl. <laughs> if you saw my picture on Instagram, I had a very big girl. And then uh, I wanted to do the video. And I, I couldn't keep my day. I said, let me, that's why I'm late. I'm so sorry I'm late. I had to go take out the girl and comb my hair. <laughs> because I said, if I break my neck... <laughs> So how are you guys doing? Today is I am unique. I keep calling you guys my uniques. I keep telling you guys all my video is about confidence, about empowerment, about standing strong, about knowing who you are. But today we are going to talk about the word I am unique. Gonzalez, I see you. I think that's Chikwado. Chikwado, you're the one that answers Gonzalez, right? Chikwado Sylvester, I think. Is that you or somebody else? I can't, I don't know. All right, guys. So, hi, baby. Hi, Gonzalez. How are you? So, guys, I wanted to come today. If you don't have a pen and a paper, hmm, you have to go grab a pen and a paper. Because today, I want to open your eyes so you can rediscover who you are as a person. If you don't have a pen and a paper, I'm going to wait a little bit. Go grab a paper and a pen. If you don't have a paper and a pen close to you, open your phone where you can type. Maybe send a text message to yourself because we are going to talk about who are you? What makes you unique? What makes you special? We are going to define what does it mean to be special and what does it mean to be unique? And then we are going to say, are two of them the same? Being special, being unique, is it the same thing or are they two different things? My sisters, my brothers, Chinine, Alex, how are you, mama? I hope you can now comment on my face. You told me you couldn't comment on my Facebook. Make sure you're following me on Facebook because if you're not following me, you might not be able to comment. So make sure you're following me and then you'll be able to comment, okay? Okay, I see Sandra. Is that Chimamanda? All right, hi, baby. How are you, mama? Okay, so guys, I'm going to teach you because sometimes I always tell myself and I tell my children, when you don't know who you are as a person, people will move you around. People will shape you into what you are not. This is if you don't know who you are. If you see people that are smoking Igbo, you start smoking because you want to belong. If you see people that are drinking and falling on the street, you will join them because you want to belong. If you see people that are robbing people at the bank, you will join them because you want to belong. If you see girls that are leaving school and sleeping with their lecturers, you will, because you don't know who you are. So when you, like we say in Igbo, okay? Faithful ministers, only my love, how are you? So whatever you do, you are all over the place. People will move you. People will shake you. People, if you want to start a business, hairdressing business, and the other friend will say, uh-uh, I, I don't like hairdressing business, so I don't like it. I didn't like uh, lipstick business. Oh, now you want to do lipstick business. 
is only when you don't know who you are. This thing I'm teaching you guys now is an eight weeks program I teach my, my, my clients. Eight weeks, I will take you through eight weeks of rediscovering who you are. But I'm not going to do eight weeks. I'm just going to do today just to give you a test of what we do in my coaching program. And if you are interested, then you can hit me up and then we'll talk about how we are going to do it and how much it is and whatever. But I just wanted to do this one free. Hi, Nana. How are you, Mama? So I just wanted to come and do this one free and let us talk as my family. You guys are all my family, okay? Oh, look at my necklace. One sister in my church gave me this. It is so cute. He says, Barbie. <laughs> it's cute. All right, guys. So when you know who you are, people don't move you around. People don't make you do what you don't want to do. People will keep changing who you are. At the end of the day, you will discover that you don't know who you are anymore. There are some times, my uniques, as I'm talking, I want you to think, there are certain things you have done you didn't like doing, but you did it because your friend was doing it. I have seen girls that followed their friends to parties, and they got to those parties, and everybody is sleeping with everybody, and they don't want to have sex. But because everybody is doing it, they are the only ones sitting down there not doing it. They say, you know what, I might as well join them. Then you hear the favorite slogan, if you can beat them, join them. But I want to tell you guys the reason I call you uniques. I want you to understand the power you are carrying. I want you to understand who you are as a person. We all say, I know who I am. Take a look at me now and wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. Can you see his glory? Because I know who I am. Do you really know who you are? When you stand on your own, when you say something that is right, sister, don't do this. And everybody's like, why would you say that? Why would you say that? You're all of a sudden, you start changing the topic because you don't know who you are. You don't know your own voice. You don't have a voice. When you see your friend say, mm, stop doing this thing, it's not good. They will call you, look at you, village girl. We are the sharp girls, baby girls. We are the sharp girl. You're a village girl. You need to come and join us. Let us show you the way. And all of a sudden, you're joining them. Every night you come back from those parties, you cry because you don't like what you're doing. Every night you smoke with them, you cry because you don't want to do it. Every night you go prostitute yourself or whatever and come back, you are crying. On Sunday, you run to church and ask God, please, Father, forgive me. Father, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I will not do it again. I will not do it again. Because you know in the core of who you are, that's not you. In the core of who you are, that's not what you believe in. In the core of who you are, you don't need to do that to get a job. In the core of who you are, you don't need to sleep with your boss to get your rent paid. You know it's wrong. But because your friends are saying, hey, girl, how, do you, how, how will you survive? That's the only way. So you are doing it. Today, we are going to talk about knowing who you are. And I'm going to teach you guys words of affirmation and what we call self-talk. Self-talk is when you talk to your own self. Sometimes people looking at you will say, ah, oh, that girl is crazy. But this is things you say to affirm yourself. Things you say to tell yourself, Akudo, I am unique. Akudo, I am a beautiful, intelligent girl. Akudo, I am a good mother. Akudo, I am a child of God. You see, I tell myself those things to reassure myself that this is who you are and you don't have to change it for anybody. There is a quote I, I would share with you guys. I always tell my children, the people that love you, my uniques, they don't mind you being who you are. Come closer, write this down, listen, take this chill, share this video. All of you that are here, please share it, share this, share it on your Facebook, share it on your Instagram. Let people come and listen to this. The people that love you, truly love you, they don't care you being who you are. If they love you, they love you who you are. But the people that don't care and don't love you, they are the ones that want you to change into something you yourself will not even recognize. Some of us have changed so many times, we don't even know who we are anymore. When you see church people, you become a born-again Christian. 
once you come out of the church, you, you leave the church and get into the club, you become a, 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 a baby girl. Once you leave that club and go into some other, oh, not, oh, you become something else. You are so identity crisis. You're all over the place. You don't know who you are. Guys, I am unique. First of all, before we even go any further, let us get the definition of the word unique. What does it mean? And then we'll get the definition of special. What does it mean? We'll compare the two and then we'll begin to talk about ourselves. Now we begin to apply it to ourselves. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Akindeji, are we ready? Chima Amanda, are we ready? Are we ready? Stephanie, is everybody ready? We're ready to do this. Are we ready to do this? Because I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready. Okay. We are going to find ourselves and find who we are. We are going to find who we are. Stephanie, I know who I am. I'm happy you know who you are, baby. I'm happy. Faithful ministers, you know who you are. That's right. You should know who you are. You should believe in who you are and whose you are because that is the only way that you will not be moved. The Bible says that we cannot be lukewarm. We cannot be here or here. We are hot or we are not cold. We are, we are either cold or we are either hot. The Bible said they will spit us out. You have to take a side. And that side is being you and being who you are. Okay? This is what we do when I do my coaching program. But this is an eight weeks program. But I'm just going to do a little bit with you guys. Okay? The word unique means being the only one of its kind. Uno. O two. Uno, o two, being the only one of its kind, unlike anything else. I'm telling you, my daughter has my behavior. My daughter, the girl that was in the picture I posted today, that's my daughter. She is like me. She, I'm, I'm an extrovert. I make noise. I'm loud. I, yeah, I have fun. That's me. That's my daughter. She's like me, but she's not me. There are still in some areas she is quite different from me. Even twins that are identical, they still have two different fingerprints. So you are different, you are unique. Is it like any other, like nothing else? Okay? He said, let me read it again. He said, being the only one of his kind, unlike anything else. That is unique. One of his kind. The original, there is no counterfeit. It's just you. You like me, you hate me, you don't want me, it is still me. There is no other person in this world that is Akudo. There is no other person in this world that is Lilia. There is no other person in this world that is Chinere. Honey, peace, there is nobody on planet Earth that is like peace. There is nobody like Sandra. There is nobody like Akindiji. There is nobody like Stanley. There is nobody like Chinere. Nobody, there is nobody. You are all different in your own ways. There is something that makes you unique. There is something that makes you special. That's the definition, the first definition of being unique. Okay? The second definition says, um, the second definition says, when you are a unique person or a unique thing, that means nothing like you. Nothing looks like you. Nothing comes close to you. There is no way it cannot be duplicated. There is no two of you. It's just you. When, let us let us take a minute and think about that. Do you know there is nobody on this earth that is like you except you? Because sometimes we don't. We always think, because if you know there is nobody on this earth like you, then you will not be comparing yourself with others. Eh, I went to school with Akindeji, but look at she's a millionaire now, but I'm not. You shouldn't compare yourselves. It's like comparing apples and banana. Apple is a fruit. Banana is a fruit, but they are two different fruits. Apple is red and round. Banana is yellow and long. So it's not the same thing. Even though they belong in one family, they are fruits, but they are not the same. So you cannot say, oh, uh, Mama Unique, uh, I like Mama Unique, but I don't like Mama, Mama Special because Mama Unique is funny and she gives us data, but Mama Special doesn't give us data. We are two different people you can't compare. If you begin, that's why I say, let me teach you guys. If you begin to understand the power you have as a unique being, you will understand that this race is not for, a, 
it, it, there's no competition, there's no award. Oh, I, I'm better than her. I'm more prettier than her. No, you can't be more prettier than her. You are pretty in your own way, and she is pretty in her own way. You are tall in your own way. She is tall in her own way. You are rich in your own way. She is rich in her own way. Unique. Remember what the definition says? Unlike anything else. Just you. So when it is just you, why would you compare yourself with somebody? It is just you. That's number one. Then he continued. Then he said, what does it mean when you are unique? That's the second question. Now, let, now we know how unique we are. What does it mean when I say you are unique? You are my unique. He says, if someone calls you unique, listen, listen, my unique, come closer. I, I hope you're sharing the video. If somebody calls you unique, you know that you are very special. When I look at you and say, Akindeji, you are such a unique lady. Stephanie, you are such a unique lady. Oni, you are such a unique lady. That means that person is telling you there is something special about you. There is something unique about you. There is something I cannot compare with anything about you. There is something that is unlike anything else. That's who you are, my uniques. Okay? He says, the reason is that the Latin word called uni means one. That thing you say, unique. That word uni, in Latin, it means one. Okay? So, technically speaking, it is impossible for you to be very unique. I can't say, oh, you're so very unique. Oh, this person is more unique than this person. Say, technically, you can't say that because it is one. So, they cannot be more of that or less of that. Or this one is more. Or this one, no. It is one. There is no comparison. Okay, so he said you are either one or you are not. It's either you are a unique or you are not. It's either you are unique or you are not. There's nothing like, oh, I think uh, Akindeji is more unique than Stephanie. I think Stephanie is more unique than uh, Chinini. Oh, no, this one, no, 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 no. You are unique, special in your own way, beautiful in your own way. No matter. Try, I want you to begin to see the beauty that is in your uniqueness. And when you begin to see that, my sister, it's not just saying, I know who I am. Mm -mm. Do you really know who you are? I wanted to come and explain. Do you really know who you are? Do you really know the power you're working with? 